Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to make the linkage peg. This guy right here is very similar to the, um, to the I can't remember which peg that was, I think it was a wheel peg or an axle hitch peg, that's what it is. Very similar to that, but here's the difference. Notice how on this one they give us this diameter right here and then a surface radius. Down on this one they don't. All they give us is a surface radius. Alright, so that gets to be a little bit tricky. So we can build this overall shape and build in these these pieces. So I have my, I'm going to come over here and create my sketch. I'm going to grab my line and do like I did before. I'm going to come over, come up, come over. I'm going to make this thing pointy and come down. And then I'm going to delete this out later when I have my dimension, when it's all dimensioned. So this is 0.25 to the top is 0.325. So we'll go ahead and dimension the top one first. So right here, 0.325. And then we said this one was 0.25. Okay. Then this down here at the bottom is, uh, they gave us the diameter for the bottom, 0.0625, so I just need half of that. So I'm going to come over here and type in 0.0625 divided by 2, and that gives me the eye diameter. So here's the deal now. I, I need to take this out. They didn't tell us how big this was. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this out, and we need to create this arc, and then we might have to do some trimming or extending depending on what it is. But what it tells us is that the surface radius of this is, is, one, is 0.1562. So somewhere down in here up is we'll create this dome of 0.1562. So what I'm going to do, since we know the top of the dome has to be a 0.325, I'm going to create a point. I'm going to drop a point in here somewhere on this line. And I'm going to dimension from this point, uh, we missed it, my bad, a dimension from that point to the top of the line. I keep missing it, sorry. Let's try that again. There it is. That point to the top of the line, we said it's going to be the same as the surface radius, which is 0.1562. So that's where our shape has to start. You can either do a, a, a circle from this point up to the top, or I, we have, remember under here we have what's called an arc with a center point. I'm going to go ahead and click on this right here is my center point. I'm going to come up to the top right here, and I'm going to sweep my arc like there. So that gives me my shape that I need. So all I have left to do now is trim this, trim that, and there's the piece that I want to revolve. So I can go ahead and do my uh, revolve, pick my axis, and there's my shape. Um, it does, again, have an optional chamfer at the bottom down here. So we're going to chamfer, uh, do my 45 by 0.01. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick this face. And now it wants me to do my edge and pick that edge and check it off. And there it is. There's my chamfer right there at the end. Uh, last but not least is this part was supposed to be ABS plastic. And again, you can make your colors whatever you want it to be. And there's my part that I needed done the way it was supposed to be. Hope this was a help.